Dear parents, a very good afternoon. Hello. You must be observing that your children with autism are more stressed these days and they may go into a state of meltdown due to lack of a proper sensory diet. During lockdown, they are not getting satisfied with their sensory needs. So, they may show signs of meltdown. Signs of meltdown may be physical, like they are hitting some everyone, or they are excessively biting, or they are showing tantrums such as screaming, shouting, getting more aggressive. But these are not tantrums. This is a meltdown. There is a difference between a meltdown and a tantrum. A meltdown means that the child is consciously not aware of his behaviors. Whereas in a tantrum, the child is consciously aware of his behaviors. Now, how can you prevent this meltdown? How can you stop it from occurring? You need to create a sensory calming environment at home. You can do this by making your room light a bit low or light, playing some calming music in the room, adding subtle colors low stimulating environment for the child and making sure that you do not put any things around which trigger stress in the child. Also, you can practice some strategies which will help the child to relax and be more calm. Now, make sure you practice these techniques at home. Take the child out in the home in a garden. Make him do some mindful breathing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Trace a rectangle. smell a flower or anything he likes good fragrance make him look towards the blue sky and fly and flash his arms like a broad bird make him touch different leaves in the garden make him feel their texture make him get acquainted with their texture okay these are some sensory friendly things you can do at home Make him squeeze a stress ball or a smiley ball that will help him to relax and feel more calm. Look at this guy. Stop. 
relaxed mindful techniques at home keep your stress level low you don't have to be stressed out because of this lockdown what you can do is you can keep doing some yoga meditation calming exercises so that if you are emotionally relaxed and stressed less you can do best for your child don't let your stress get effect on the child so you can prevent meltdowns during lockdown by following these simple precautions and don't worry be happy stay home stay safe and don't let the child go into a state of meltdown thank you